Hey guys, it is Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. We are doing a Why Teachers Quit video today. Uh, I believe I'm going to title this one, Why Teachers Quit Getting Mad. They are getting mad, or they get mad. Uh, and there were a lot of times during my career, and I've been out of it about three years now, uh, where I would get mad over certain things. And the reason I'm, I'm making this video is I saw a I saw a post on Facebook. I know I shouldn't look on Facebook because Facebook is just the place that this makes me mad. But anyway, I saw a post on Facebook and it was about a law they had passed in Indiana that basically, from what I understand, now this may not even be the case because it's Facebook, but it made me mad anyway. The law, from what I understand, requires teachers to provide lesson plans well ahead of when they teach so that parents can review the lesson plans to make sure that they don't contain uh, things that may offend them in some kind of way. And, uh, and that seems like, you know, if you're not a teacher and you look at that and you think, well, yeah, I mean, if they have to make lesson plans, why can't they make them in, in, in time, ahead enough time so that everybody can look at them? And, um, you know, they, that just seems like the kind of thing that shouldn't be that big a deal. But it is a huge, huge deal. And I'll explain that part. Uh, lesson plans are made, it's kind of what you're going to do day by day. And lesson plans may change during a class. Lesson plans may change daily. They may change hour by hour. Um, different states require different things on the lesson plans. The lesson plans are, are what help you get through the lesson and keep track, keep you on track with your curriculum, keep you on track with all the things that you're supposed to be providing to different students that have special needs. Um, they, you know, let you know what order to do things. They help you not forget, you know, kind of keeps you on track of what you're supposed to be doing. So they are like the actual working plan for what you do day by day. Now, for the entire year, they, they usually have something that they want the teachers to go by called a curriculum plan. The curriculum plan is a very broad, um, a very broad document that covers basically where you are going to be in the year-wide curriculum. Like how far have I gotten to this point? Uh, should I be, you know, if it's a history class, should I be um, you know, in February, should I be talking about World War II, you know, or should I be further ahead? It just kind of helps you know where you're supposed to be. Those documents, when they, when they are made, what they are made for is for the teacher to teach your sons and daughters. They are to help the teacher teach. That is how lesson plans started out. They started out as a tool for teachers to use day by day. A really great idea. Now, what's happened is over time, uh, they became a tool for the administrators to check on the teachers and what the teachers are doing and to make sure that the teachers actually have plans and they're not, they're not just going in there and winging it, that they are thinking ahead of time about what they should be doing. They're including data uh, in their plans. They're, you know, it's kind of to prove to the administrator I'm doing my job. You know, so that's kind of where they are now. They are to help help you in the classroom and to help the administrator you know keep track of you so they're they're kind of evolved where they're a little more complicated well now um, everybody else is wanting to get their hands in the lesson plans and what that is turning into is is this uh, most teachers lesson plans are generally due a week before you teach the lesson because they're they're constantly changing and it's, it's supposed to be a work in progress. So you don't ask them for lesson plans three or four weeks ahead. If you're having to get it in the, you know, where parents can look at it, then you're having to do lesson plans months ahead. And they, t they don't work that way. And you're making them do an, a, a, a tremendous amount of work for no good reason. And that's the kind of thing that would make me mad as a teacher. If I was teaching right now and they told me that I had to have all my lesson plans, I would be able to do it because I'm the kind of person 
that would just turn around and give them because I know most of it is not doesn't really matter uh, nobody's really gonna look at my lesson plans uh, you know what is it you want on them I, pl I put it on there and boom there it is that's what you guys want I would just give them right back what they want but right back what they want to hear and then I would go in my classroom and I did what I wanted that was the kind of person I was I could deal with all the bureaucracy I could deal with all that kind of stuff and just let it roll off my back and keep going and keep teaching the way I want to teach uh, a lot of teachers are not like that they really just get I mean they, they think and they work so hard and they try to make it perfect and get it exactly right some people it's very easy to make lesson plans some people it's very hard and when you sit there and you turn around and you tell them they have to turn those in that far ahead of time, you are making their life a complete and total misery. That's the kind of thing that makes teachers mad. And why are they having to do this? They're having to do this because um, parents, you know, some parents, not all parents, are worried that they're going to put something in the curriculum like critical race theory or something like that, that it's going to be put in the curriculum and it's going to be being taught in the classroom and the parents want to find out if that's what's going on and so the teachers are stuck in the middle of this battle that has nothing to do with them 99 percent of the teachers in this country what they want to do is teach their subject if it's reading they want to teach kids how to read if it's math they want to teach kids math that's what they want to do believe it or not that's what the vast majority of, that's all they really care about doing they like kids they want to do the right thing for kids and they want to teach kids what they need to learn uh, to help them in their life but what happens is they have become pawns between the people you know, whoever these foundations are and whoever these people are that want to promote these political ideas and curriculums you know they're trying to to get this put in through the state laws and things like that and then you have the people on the other side that don't want their kids learning you know certain things and they're fighting against the you know and then you got the school boards that want to do a certain thing and in in, in the middle of all this fighting the teachers are stuck trying to actually teach and and they have a curriculum that takes 180 days to implement and they're trying to do it in about a hundred and sixty days because they probably got 20 days where they're out of the classroom because they're getting trained for something so they're not in their own classroom or they're doing testing or they're doing you know whatever they're getting taken out of the classroom for all these different things and all this testing and all this stuff and so take those 20 days away and now I'm down to 160 days to implement a 180 day curriculum and I got to get the I mean they are doing stuff as fast as and as hard as they can do it and and they don't like being used by school boards or by parents or by the state government or by whoever to try to plug some political agenda or fight against some political they, they, they just want to teach their class and and they're the ones that have to they're the ones that are on the ground you know they're the boots on the ground of the people going between the school boards and going between the state legislature and whatever and they do stuff like this all the time they're passing laws all the time that make it difficult to teach and they they do these things that sound like good ideas to them you know it sounds like a good idea to make sure that the teachers aren't teaching something that's what but the vast majority of teachers aren't teaching anything like that and if they are it's because they're being directed to um, by the curriculum that the state passed or the you know they don't decide on the curriculum they don't decide what they teach that stuff is all dictated to them uh, for the most part so you have certain things you got to go you know you got to go about your curriculum so if people want to fight these battles you know it really stinks that the teachers are the ones that are getting killed by having to do things like put their lesson plans out you know they're, they're doing twice the amount of work just in case you know two parents in the whole county want to go look and see what they're teaching you know they got to do you know days and days and days worth of work for a couple of people that you know nobody may not nobody may look at it at all you know like i would do my lesson plans and half the time i wasn't worried about it because i knew my administrator wasn't going to look at my lesson plans he didn't have time 
if I was looking at somebody's lesson plans, they were having some real problems in class for me to have to go, you know what, I really need to look and see what they're teaching, you know, when I was an administrator. So, you know, <laughs> lesson plans should be for the teachers to help them do their jobs. Um, it shouldn't keep them from doing their jobs. It shouldn't put them under a microscope. It shouldn't make a situation where if I put the wrong thing in my lesson plan, you know, somebody's going to come down on me. The school superintendent's going to see my name on some email because I put some, the wrong thing in one of my lesson plans or I put, you know. And the other thing is lesson plans contain a lot of information that is, that's private about students and about kids and people can't see that so how are you going to provide that information and black all that stuff out so the parent can't see who's in what groups and who they're very detailed and you know a lot of times parents don't understand that they're asking to see something that they really don't have the rights to see now they have the right they can look at the curriculum and the, and the other thing about it is this all that information is already out there it's already out there it's all public record the state curriculum and the all that stuff is already public record. All you got to do is look at it. You don't have to see the teacher's lesson plans to see what's being taught. It's in. It's there. Teachers don't have time to run down the author of every book and run down the author of every article and see what their political standings are. Uh, when I taught something, you know, there were a lot of things. You know, I had a lot of information at my disposal, and there might be lessons that I might take from from different sources. And if it had something in it that I didn't agree with or that I didn't think really fit the curriculum, I just leave it out. It's kind of like, you know, you, you spit out the bones. You eat the meat and spit out the bones. You know, and I had enough sense to spit out the bones of the stuff that I didn't need to be including in class. And, um, you know, th that's just part of it. I, I might get something from a source. It's a questionable source because I needed that information. I needed that data. Or, you know, it was an example of, you know, something that was wrong or something that was bad or whatever. I mean, I taught history. I had to show things that were bad. I had to show things that people did that weren't good. And I had to use documents and use things that people, um, you know, probably wouldn't like. But it's what happened and it's the facts and I taught it. I taught the facts. So anyway, that's the kind of thing that makes teachers mad when their job is affected by outside outside foundations, outside organizations, state legislators, school board members, whoever it is that interferes with them doing what their real job is. It's not to be a social worker. It's not to be, you know, all those things. It's to teach. And they get really tired of people trying to make them into things that they're not, trying to make them into social workers, trying to make them into some political tool, trying to make them into you know uh, whatever they're teachers they want to teach your kids so why do teachers quit they get mad and they get mad over things like that thanks for watching guys